Labor Day. All you laborers out there, in honor of Spartacus, Eugene Debs, and Jimmy Hoffa. The greatest bumper sticker I've ever seen in my life, I was in San Diego, and I believe it was an African-American gentleman driving the car. He passed by pretty quick on the freeway. It said, if you enjoy your weekend, thank the labor movement. Think about that. We used to have weekends in this country. We used to just be able to get off and relax and have a weekend. We have a life. And that was a period of American history that was good. A man, my, my, my Uncle Bob exemplifies this. My father exemplifies this. They believed in hard work. But they believed in their own time. They had hobbies. They had a life. And this is being taken away. And I don't believe this is going to last that long. I think we're in a blip in history. I think people are going to realize this is all a lot of BS that's going on in the world. And we're going to start taking care of each other. And labor and management are going to get along. But we're not there yet. We're not there. Because they want us to work harder and harder and harder and harder and harder and harder for less and less and less and less and less. You know, I'm dating this gal in the third world, and she's, she's in the Philippines, and she sent me something in English where it had something to do with debt, and it said the, the creditor would be completely, resp the debtor would be completely uh, um, responsible to the debtor for anything that happened. I mean, it was onerous. I mean, remember, the creditor in this world did nothing for that issue of currency. They did nothing for it. Zero. Nothing. All they did was issue a credit. When a bank loans you money, all they do is issue it. It's an electronic transaction, and you have to work to pay it back. You have to work to pay it back. And the bank issues the money for the original currency, and it doesn't issue the money to pay the debt. You have to work it back. So therefore, credit, credit implies default, depression, bankruptcy, so forth. And this is the system that the world is being run under, period. And I don't think that we're all going to fall for this forever. I figured this out. I, I remember very clearly in 2000, I mean, excuse me, in 1986, when I was talking to somebody about the Federal Reserve, and they yelled at me that the Federal Reserve was not a branch of the government. And I was in shock. And he was right, and I was wrong, and I had a degree in economics, and I didn't know this. I didn't know this. That wasn't my fault. But I think people are beginning to learn. So, And I think that the labor movement is ending because we don't need labor anymore. We don't need all these workers. We have more people, and we can take care of ourselves. We don't all have to work so hard, and there's a big con game going on. And quit falling for it out there, folks. Quit falling for it. Do something about it, okay? Peace!